Steve Prescott was my dad and my hero. Steve Prescott for me was somebody who gave 100% whatever he did. Stephen was one in a million. Right from the beginning, Steve Prescott had rugby league in his DNA. I was always told I wasn't big enough and I was never going to make it, but you know, I had a little bit of heart and desire and I wanted to succeed. This is Steve Prescott taking them all on. Steve scored a total of 340 points during five seasons at his hometown club, St Helens, and in 1996 claimed two tries as St Helens lifted the Challenge Cup. The Saints had not won anything for a long time and, like I said, these youngsters came through and you know, I was one of them. It was great times, you know, to be around St Helens as a club. They repeated the feat in 97 and, of course, were the inaugural Super League champions in 1996. 98 season was my first season at Hull. I was one of them where I didn't want to let anybody down and I give my all for the for every club I play for to be honest. Following two seasons at Hull, Steve moved on to Wakefield for a year before jumping at the chance to return to East Yorkshire. Prescott is heading for the line. Darren Albert's after him. Prescott for the line against Albert. Brilliant try. Prescott with the try for Hull. In total, Steve amassed 621 points for the Black and Whites before injury forced him into retirement in 2003. In 2006, Steve was diagnosed with a rare form of stomach cancer and was given only six months to live. I've got to fight it and face it head on. My friends rallied round me, everybody rallied round me and you know, I got stronger and I, and I want to give something back. I want to help other people now and now I'm inspired. Inspire is exactly what he did, setting up the Steve Prescott Foundation to raise money for Christie's Cancer Hospital and the rugby league charity Try Assist. One of his many charity events included an all-stars match at Knowsley Road. We kicked off and Terry passed it to my little boy and obviously he ran up with the ball. And I think, I think Vila, Vila Matauti in the Saints team decided that wasn't the script that he wanted to follow, to be honest. So he came behind my little boy and gave him the biggest shove. And he was only, he was only five at the time, give us a shove in the back. And he, to be honest, my, my boy at the deck with the ball, he didn't drop the ball, he picked himself up and I can just remember his little face when he picked himself up off, off, off the floor, you know, and he's blowing like mad and he, he, this is not right. And he, he carried on, to, be, to all his credit, he carried on running and to run 80 metres at Saints for, his, for a five-year-old, it was um, it's quite an achievement really. And um, he went round me and scored under and put a nice little dive on at the end. Of the many challenges, the Trans Pennine walk from Hull to Old Trafford in Manchester, visiting all the Super League clubs, was one of his toughest. Come on, only another 10 days to go, and it's that way. I know that he never gives in with anything. He'll, even if it's really, really tough for him, he'll do it. I know he will. I got into the hotel I was staying that night. I was shaking on the bed, uncontrollably shaking for half an hour. I had to wrap the covers up around me and I just I, I spoke to my brother on the telephone and I said I said Neil I said I don't know how I'm going to do this walk I really physically don't know if I can carry on and do this walk and that was after day one. Steve's never give in attitude saw him through and he arrived at Old Trafford to a hero's reception. We'd completed it we'd done it it was really good that everybody just bonded and everybody enjoyed that moment and I think it'll live with me forever really that moment. Steve continued to defy the medics taking on more gruelling challenges involving cycling, running, swimming while still receiving treatment for his illness. In 2010 he was awarded an MBE for his services to rugby league and his charity work. I thought it was um, a letter off the government saying uh, I owed some money or something when I, when I read it but it was a great great privilege. It was special for my, my family, my two boys, to see that happen was, was great. In the same year, Steve was awarded the Mike Gregory Spirit of Rugby League Award at the Man of Steel dinner. It's just a remarkable individual and uh, loved by a lot of people. I don't want to embarrass you, but you are an inspiration. No. I wouldn't say that, no. I wouldn't say that, definitely not. I'm just doing what I can to help people. In August 2013, Steve was inducted into the St Helens Hall of Fame, just three months before he eventually passed away. I'm really proud like, of him, like, you know, it's, I just can't you know, say words for him, like, you know, he's, he's that good, you know. 
the Steve Prescott Foundation has donated over £520,000 to their chosen charities. If I can encourage somebody else to fundraise and do something, or you know, if we can raise money for people who really need it, then it's all worthwhile, isn't it? Ladies and gentlemen, Steve Prescott. Steve Prescott.